The next is now to move and do the top part here. So that's rotating, uh, well first I have to rotate the edges. To rotate the edges, this is rotated correctly and that's going to be two down, two down, right, two, and just either one or both up against it. So in that way I'm able to see what rotates correctly. So I can see that this is not two down, it's just one down, and this is right up against it, so that's F U R U I R I F I, and that does rotate all these up. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. Um, get myself oriented here. All right, so this is two down, so this is rotated correctly. This one is two down, so that's oriented correctly. This is one down, so it's not, which means this is not. So these are not oriented correctly. So I have an L pattern, just like this. So now that's gonna be the, exactly the same thing. And that's gonna be, um, F, U, R, U, I, R I and F I. Okay, so all of these should be rotated correctly, and I believe that they are. Okay, let's just be sure, because I could have easily made a mistake. Okay, um, this is rotated wrong, this is rotated right. This is rotated wrong. Oh, you know, I think I have the line. Somehow I got the line. So these are rotated. Yeah, this is rotated wrong. This is rotated right. And this is rotated wrong. So wrong, wrong. So I made a little miscalculation. This is right, and this must be right, which it, which it is. So correct and correct. So it's this over here, and that's gonna be F U R U I R I and FI. Okay. That should do it, I think. So two, so that's good. Two, that's good. Two, that's good. And two, that's good. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to orient them correctly. Orienting them correctly means that I am going to have two opposite each other that are right up against it. And I'll be able to tell. For instance, I can tell this is. So this is correct over here. These are not. Well, this is correct over here. So R U R I U R to U R I. And that will place these where they need to be. This is where they need to be. This is now this may be a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna take a good look. Where's my center? Oop, okay. Where's my center? Uh, my center is here. And now I like this. This this was a kindness because this is right up against it. This is correct. I'm gonna say, because this fits, and this is correct. These two are not. Um, this is right up against it. These two have to be flipped. They've gotta be flip-flopped. These two have to be flipped, I think. So this almost looks like a parody. Uh, however, I'm gonna run amuck with what's happening here. I'm gonna run afoul of this. So the only thing that I can think to say, right off the bat, is that this center, I think, is probably off. Because I'm not gonna have this center off, but nothing else off. And I kinda suspected that the center was off, and I don't have these to, to guide. So I have to find a way to rotate. Well, I wanna rotate this by 180 degrees, and this has to rotate by, I would assume, well, actually, this might not have to rotate 180 degrees. Uh, well, let's see. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I think this is off by 90 degrees, and that's what's throwing this off. 
Uh, so I'm gonna have to make corrections. Now this is coming out at me like that. Uh, this is also coming out, so I'm gonna say that I think this has to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. And there's no other way to do it, I just have to kind of undo some of the things that I've done. And I'm gonna wanna do counterclockwise 90 degrees. So I'm gonna move this here, one, two. Double turn this over here. If I can, one, two. I'm gonna move this 90 degrees counterclockwise, like so. Now I'm gonna move it back, one, two. And move this in one, two, if I can, one, and two. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to do some damage control, but I should not have offset much of the things that I've put in here. This is still okay. Now I have to find the ones that belong here with this. Finding this one shouldn't be too difficult. I, th I believe it's this. Let me just uh, move this down just to be sure. Okay, I have to, there we go. Is this it? Um, nope, this isn't it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, this guy here. As I move this down, this doesn't fit there. It must fit at the other place. This is one in and one in down here. So this must fit here. Here, let's be sure, yeah, okay. So, I'll just do some quick damage control. I have to be sure that I don't hit the centers. So this is the centerpiece here, so that's gonna be oh, Daddy, you. You're Good. UI. LI. U. L. U, F, I think, yeah, F, and of course, U, I, and F, I. Okay, that places that there. Uh, do we like this better? Well, time will certainly tell. Time will tell. So now this center or edge rather, should go here, snagged a little bit here. Yeah, so that will go here. Nope, oh, was on the wrong one. No, not that one. This is two, so it's not gonna be that. I'll just wheel it around till I find it. I should be able to find it soon. This one, this is one down, this is two, so no, not that one. This one, this is one and one. I think. Yeah, one and one. Next one, maybe. No, that's also two. Uh, okay, so it might be something else. So these are all in. These are all in. This is good. This is good. So I'm missing. I'm missing this one. Uh, where could it be? I must have overshot it. Uh, must be this guy. Yeah, it's this guy. Just to be sure. Let's line it up. Bring it down. And yes. Oh, actually, you're right. Actually, it's not this. I know that for sure. This guy? No, he's got two leading to the center. This guy? Yeah, it must be this guy, I think. Well, such is my faith that it is that guy. I'm just going to put him in. 
move them over here and let's go ahead and move them down. I got all misaligned. Let's get ourselves aligned back again. Do we drift too far off center? Nope, still not aligned. Oh, it's down. Something's not aligning here. Yes, no, maybe, absolutely not. Gotcha, okay, I think so. So, you are UI, RI, UI. Hi. FI. Yep. You and F. Okay. Um, so this is in. Do we like this better? I think so. And now we're going to see how this works here. Hello. Okay. So let's see if this helped fix some of our issues there. We got the what I think the middle is back in, and I'm feeling better about the center being in the direction that it is. It looks like all the edges, I'm two away, two away, two away, and two away. They're all upside down. So I'm going to do a random F. Oh, first I'm going to get a line. Okay, F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. What's precarious about these algorithms is that if I accidentally move the center, I am sunk. Okay, so now what we have is I know this is facing up, this is up, this is two, so that's upside down and that's upside down. So this is my L, and we have See if I can do it. Line it up. Are we good? Yeah. F. U. R. Find my way to a UI if I can. Hmm. UI. Phew. R I. And F I. FI. Okay, so now that I have that, and they all should be rotated up, which they are, I see that this is correct, this is correct, this is correct, and this is correct. Phew! So, yes, that was just the wrong rotation, and now there's no parity with this. All of these, this is the center right here, I think, yeah. So that's the center, and these all line up nicely. So now what's left on this top, and just to get our bearings, this was my bottom, this is the middle, and that all should be in, uh, just like that, and this is my top. The edges are where they need to be, however, uh, now it's the corners. Now corners are going to be a little difficult. I know that they're rotated correctly because I've got two edges between that and the center, so this is rotated correctly, this is rotated correctly, this is not, and this is not. So I could try to rotate them, but I have to see if they're in the right place. I see this is not and this is not. They belong over there. So I'm going to hold this here and just do a rotation of the corners. Uh, well, you know, I'll hold it over here because at least maybe I can get this. Well, this might be where it needs to... Well, actually, I know it's not where it needs to be. So I'm just going to try it once. Do U, R... UI, if it'll let me. Will you let me? Yep, UI. LI. U. RI. UI. L. And in some ways, I'm just looking to see if there's any fortune that I have with that. I see this is here. This might actually belong there. Now, what I could do is, uh, now this is rotated correctly, this is rotated correctly, this is not, and this is not. Uh, I know these don't belong here, but perhaps this belongs here. So I'm going to do RID, RD, and see if it actually is where it needs to be. 
So we have my centers here. So Ri, Di, R, D, and again, Ri, Di, R, D. Okay. So what do we see? This is correct. This is correct. So I'm just going to move to the next one here, boom, and do the same thing. I got to I got to do it twice to preserve the parity of the puzzle. Well, it's all right to bring it back based on the parity of the puzzle, I should say. There we go. R I D I R D and again R I D I R D and again R I D I R D and I think once more R I D I R yeah that's it and D okay now that was a lot of struggling around, uh, but I needed to do it. So this is in, I know this is in. Uh, and notice all these are rotated correctly. This is in and the rest are not. Now because all these are rotated correctly, I could start to do corner swaps, but I don't have two that are in. So my thinking is, is this doesn't belong here. Does this belong here? Uh, it's possible or this belongs here. It's hard for me to say, but I could do a corner swap. The only problem with doing corner swaps is I'm going to offset the centers. So I'm just going to keep this here and do my algorithm U R U I L I U R I U I and L. Okay, now is this correct? Does this belong here? My th Either this is right and the others aren't, or this is right and the others are, so, and all the others are. That made sense. So, U, let's do it again. R, U, I, L, I, U, R, I, U, I, L. Okay, so understanding the parity of this puzzle, if this is correct, which it is, all the others are either also correct or they're not. So any one of them should be in, and if any one of them is rotated right, then I'll know it. This one is rotated correctly, um, but as you can see, it's not in. So what that means is that if this isn't correct, which it's not, and this is correct. None of the others ha none of the others can be correct. So let's do it again. U R U I L I U R I U I L. Okay. Hmm. So this is not right, therefore the rest must not be right. Let's do it again. You R U I L I U R I U I and L Okay 
Now doing that, this is now correct. You can see it lines up, which means these two must be correct. They just have to be our idea, our deed into submission. So let's go ahead and do that. R I. Well, actually, before I do that, before I do that, I have to be absolutely sure where my centers are. It's right down here. Okay, so we have snagged. R I D I R D. Careful. R I D I R D. Are we in? This is in. So then we move this whole thing here and do it once more. R I D I R D R I D I R D Hmm R I D I R D and again R I D I R D. Okay, it worked. I'm not sure how, but it did. Anyway, so all these are now in. The top and the bottom are done, like this, and the middle should be done, and it all makes sense. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into the position that lines up in what would seem to make the most sense. Does this belong here? No, because it's got to match up. I think this is more likely to bind with this center. And this, does this bind with this center? I'm not so sure. If I move this, this in here, I'm not sure about that. So this all lines up here. This, um, I think, can line up here. This, I don't think, lines up here too well. And this may line up here. So I'm actually thinking I may have to go like this. And this may have to go like this in order to make sense. Well, in, in any case, I'm just kind of lining up these center pieces here. This looks like it's going to line up like that, and this will line up. All that will come out in, in, in the wash, I think. But anyway, so this is a situation where I've done my 3x3 three three solve. So if I were to do the, equiv uh, the equivalent with this, um, if this is in... U R U I L I U R I U I L R I D I R D R I D I R D Put this here R I D I R D R I D I R D R I D I R D R I D I D. Okay, and that's this. So that's the equivalent of this solve. That's where I'm at right now. And you can see there's a lot more order here with the 3x3 three three solve. Here, not so much. But it does give me a little bit more leeway, more wiggle room. I'm not 100% sure if these match. This would seem to match here. But now it's a matter of what is the next step to get this thing solved.